story of Anna Karenina is the story of love in its many forms. The novel really is about love and the film is really about love, but it just picks the moments that highlight that the best. It's a piece that looks at different angles of love and different angles of relationships, honestly and openly and without judgment. Stephen. The books are studies on the human condition and that takes in the positives and the negatives. It's a very sophisticated soap opera, set in a time more valorous and chivalrous than our own and more passionate in a more passionate place than our own. Our main story is a love triangle between Anna Karenina, who's married to successful politician Alexei Karenin. She's a rich society woman and falls in love with a dashing young cavalry officer. They have a child, they are well off, they have a certain place in society, and she is the perfect, dutiful wife. And it's more like a sort of bolt of lightning from the outside world opens her eyes to another way of living, another way of loving, and another way of being. Oh my God. The story with Anna is that she's unable to see what's right in front of her face, and it's the tragedy of her in a way. Particularly with that kind of relationship with Karenin, she's unable to recognize the love that he does actually feel for her. Tell me what I did to deserve this. There are two stories that run in parallel. On the one hand, the Anna Karenin Vronsky love triangle, and on the other hand, the story of Konstantin Levin, who is a man looking for love. I need your advice. Well, come into my room, then. I'm in love. I've come back to propose. Have you guessed who she is? Constantine! Levin's idea of love is, at the same time, really pure and then blinkered. And he's centered in on this one woman who he sees as his path to happiness. The Levin and Kitty storyline often suffers, I think, in adaptations of, of this. And yet it's an incredibly important storyline to give the balance. If you have any thought for me, you will give me back my peace. I have no peace to give. There can be no peace for us. Only misery, our greatest happiness. And so as Anna declines to kind of madness and horror, so Levin's story ascends to something of a, an epiphany. The piece is a tragic love story and the tragedy affects everybody. And um, it is dependent upon emotion and character and, you know, all of the things that I believe make great cinema. I do think that's why classics are classics and the, and the reason that stories um, like Anna Karenin or, or so many other books last through the ages is because you can't help but recognise yourself and you understand where they're coming from. So yes, it's both modern and classic at exactly the same time.